Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I was looking through some old stuff on YouTube on the um, on my channel and realized I hadn't done a video about my top list of 2017. Um, I've been watching yours and I've been enjoying them, um, but I haven't done one myself. And uh, I know when I first started smoking a pipe, oh, about three or four years ago, um, I really enjoyed watching those and I got a lot of ideas from you guys' videos on the top list. So today I'll tell you about a few that I really enjoyed this year and, um, and as well as a couple that fell kind of flat for me. So uh, first off, I'm smoking this little English made Ben Wade um, pipe I picked up for eight bucks at an estate sale and it is a wonderful smoking pipe. I really enjoy it. And in it's one of these blends. So uh, we'll try to keep this video fairly short and I'll go ahead and get it started off. <clears throat> There's only one video for this year that was on last year's list. Um, and I don't, I don't really see it going anywhere anytime soon, but I tried to include some new stuff that I'd been smoking. But um, Sam Gaw with St. James Flake. I mean, that, that, that has to be on my list. It's, uh, um, I used to say it was my number one tobacco um, of, of any of them. But um, here lately, there's been some others that got up there, but definitely top two or three. So that one will always be on my list. Um, another one, um, it is a Virginia Perique as well. Uh, that's what St. James Flake is, by the way. Um, this is a Virginia Perique as well, and it's got a little, it's also got some Cavendish in it. But uh, Peterson Irish Oak. Um, I only smoked one tin of this, but I remember liking it a whole lot. I opened it up and I went through it very quickly, and I need to pick up a few more of those. Um, next on the list, the only English, only English blend on the list this year. Um, last year, I included Penzance because I had never tried it before. I tried it for the first time last year, and I found it to be very good. Um, but, you know, y'all know the story on that. You can't find the stuff. So, uh, I found this blend that had often been compared to Penzance. So, I tried GLP's Quiet Nights. And I will say, it has some similarities. It is wonderful. It's a flake. Um, it's got your typical... Uh, let's see what it says here. Virginia's Orientals and Latakia. And actually a little Perique. I didn't realize that that had Perique in it. Um, but it is reminiscent. Now you're not going to mistake it for Penzance. But it does have a lot of similarities. And it's really, really good. Also, see we got three more here. Um, I've smoked a lot of this this year. McClellan's 40th anniversary. It's a Red Virginia Flake, which has become my favorite. Um, the Red Virginia Flakes, not this particular blend, but it is wonderful. Uh, it comes in these 100 gram tins, and um, I went through one faster than I've ever gone through a 100 gram tin. Meant to review it, went through it, smoked it all up, had to open another tin. I was planning on aging, but I just, I love that stuff, and I, I, I smoke it pretty often. Um, I've got a review on it up, so check that out if you hadn't. All right, next to last. Now, I had had this one before, and um, I didn't smoke much of it last year. The first year that I'd smoked a pipe, it was one of the blends I loved. Didn't smoke much last year. Found it in stock again, and I smoked a lot of it this year and like it as much as I ever have. And that is Rattray's Howl of the Wind. I mean, this is absolutely wonderful. Um, it is a Virginia Perique, and it has a little bit of fire-cured Kentucky, um, but that's a, that's a minor player. It's mostly a Virginia Perique, and it is absolutely wonderful. It, it's amazing. It's a it's a like a ready rub, like a broken flake. Um, comes a little moist in the tin. You got to give it a little drying time, but absolutely wonderful. And last, um, those first five there, they weren't in any kind of order. But my last one is the number one. It is the one that's in the spot that it should be in. And it's what's in my pipe right now. And here lately it's been what's been in my pipe most of the time. If you are a lover of Virginias, 
you've really got to try. McClellan's Red and Black. I was turned on to this tobacco by a guy at my local shop, and I have went through several tins. I've got several in there waiting to be cracked open. It is my absolute favorite Virginia right now. Um, I'd always put full Virginia flake in that spot. I discovered this at the beginning of 2017. I think I smoked maybe half a tin of full Virginia flake all year. And that stuff, just 10 after 10 after 10 of it, it is magnificent. I just, it's, I can't say enough good. It's my favorite right now. Um, they always talk about desert island tobaccos. If I was, if I had to pick right now, that'd be it. It comes, and I'd show you, but this tin's almost empty and uh, the flakes are real broken up. But it comes in, it is basically red and black. I mean, the name gives it away. It's red Virginia flakes and it's black stoved Virginia flakes. And they don't mix them together uh, in the flake. It's some of the flakes are red, some of the flakes are stoved, and they put them in the same tin together. And uh, you can mix them however you want. Um, I like to stagger it. I like to put a little stoved and red and stoved and red, and you can taste the transitions as it goes through the bowl. And it's, it, it's awesome. Um, I believe I use it in uh, the video that I did on packing a flake tobacco. I demonstrated it with red and black, and I, you, you'll see me alternate there. But that, that stuff is just wonderful. So that's my, it's six of them. That's my top blends of, uh, of 2017. There were two that got a lot of hype, and I do not care for them. Um, I'm a lover of Virginia Periques. And so that's what both of these are. I thought I was gonna, gonna have a, um, gonna really enjoy them. But Russ Olette's Firestorm is one that everybody brags on. Most people I've ever heard of that have tried it love it. And I don't care for it. It just tastes artificially sweet to me. Um, I love naturally sweet tobaccos. This tastes almost artificial. It's got like a cinnamon. And I enjoy cinnamon in food and desserts, but um, it did not hit the spot for me in the tobacco for the flavor. Now, the quality of it's just fine. I mean, it burns well, packs well, smokes well, but I do not care for the flavor. And the other one is also a Russellette blend. Now, maybe I just don't care for him. I don't know. But the Prati is a blend that is similar to Firestorm that I um, just didn't care for. It just didn't hit the spot for me. Um, and a lot of people like it, so it's a great quality tobacco, same as the other, but uh, flavor-wise, just not for me. That's it, guys. Um, that's my top and a couple that I didn't care for. Um, I'll see you next time. Go forth and do good.